I'll show you how to record your iPhone screen or iPad screen the fast way with no apps required. You can also set your iPad or iPhone screen recording to record iPhone audio or your voice using the iPad or iPhone microphone. This method works for older iPhones, iPhone X, 11, 12 and 13 running iOS 11 and above. And the iPad screen recording is exactly the same as with the iPhone. Wow, how many times did you count that I said iPhone or iPad in that intro? The iPad and iPhone screen recording feature is already built in and you can access the screen recording via the control center. To access the control center on a newer iPhone or iPad, swipe down from the top right and for older devices, swipe up from the bottom. The button for the screen recorder as well as accessing screen recording sound is not displayed here by default. So here's how to set up screen recorder on iPhone and iPad's control center. And next I'll show you how to enable screen record with audio. Okay, let's go to settings, then select control center. Here you see a list of all the controls currently inside the control center. So on both the iPhone and iPad, scroll down until you see the screen recording control widget. Then simply press the plus button. You can see it got added to the list right here. The next step is to access the control center by swiping down from the top right or up from the bottom on older devices and you can see here this icon which is the iPad and iPhone screen recording button. So go right ahead and press that button to record and it will count down from three seconds. Tap or swipe up to leave the control center and then in the left corner on iPhone or right for iPad you'll see this red indicator which tells you your screen recording is active. Go ahead and record your screen. Perhaps you wanted to record someone's Instagram feed or other social media. Record a funny video you saw online. Demonstrate how to use an app or game. Or like this video and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me grow. So how to stop the iPad or iPhone screen recording? You can either swipe down to access the control center and stop it there or simply tap the red icon. It will first confirm if you want to stop the recording. Then up the top it says screen recording saved to photos, which is where you can later find your recording. I'll show you in a second how you can quickly trim the start and end of these videos before sending your recording out. But first, here's how to enable screen recording audio. Again, go to your control center, but this time tap and hold the screen recording button. Down the bottom will appear a toggle for the microphone. So we'll turn that on. The screen recording will record your voice via the microphone or any noise in your background in fact. The screen record will also capture any audio playing on your iPhone or iPad. This includes sound from a clip you're playing from say TikTok plus any audio from any app you're using. If you want to voice over a video that has audio it will record audio from both sources. Note that if you are on a phone call or a FaceTime or Zoom call, the mic won't record that audio during the screen recording. Righto, let's again press the stop button in the top left or right, and this time tap the confirmation up the top to quickly open your screen recording. If you then press the edit button, you can then trim the start and or end of your video by tapping holding and dragging these arrows to match where you want the start and end of the screen recording to be. Then just press the done button and save the video. You can watch this video here to learn more about this quick editing technique on iPhone or iPad. Plus learn how to cut the middle part out of a screen recording or video or even how to easily join two or more screen recordings or videos together to make one. I guarantee you'll learn something. Whew, that was like 10 iPhones or iPads I said there.